Hello there. In this topic, we're going to take a look at what are derived attribute views and how to create them. Now, generally speaking, attribute views are created to be reused or to be created as shared attribute views. So what happens is, for example, when we create customer or a product master data set or an attribute view, we intend this to be used by multiple reporting cubes. So you could create an analytical view for different areas or different um, reporting needs. And most of these cubes have the flavor of customer and product. So you can always reuse these attribute views. Now, sometimes you want an attribute view to be reused, but not to be changed. In that case, what you can do is you can create a derived attribute view. So you can say new and you can say customer underscore derived. And then here you can say derived. Now, when you say derived, it's going to ask you from where you want to derive it, from which particular attribute you, you want to derive it. So I'm going to say customer. Now what happens is you will see the same attribute you open up, but the only difference is you cannot make any changes to this. So if you see, I cannot make any change. I cannot delete anything. I cannot add anything. I cannot do anything. So this is a derived attribute view. So you can always provision this to your upper layers and they can use it. And also, if you want to use the same view two times, that is, you want to make a self join basically, then also you can use a derived attribute. View. Let's go ahead and activate it. All right, there you go. So you have a derived attribute. View. So that is what is a derived attribute.